Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a small Pelton Hydro Generator from 3D printed part, an MA17, a step down transformer or any kind of voltage regulator and of course some screws. You will need 4 screws of 4x50, 4 screws of 3x10 and 2 screws of 4x17. Next, we need to assemble every part, so basically it's straightforward, there is four screws that hold uh, the um, shaft protection for the water not to splash directly into the engine. Then there is the pelton wheel, uh, it's held tight with two screws on the side, so basically it holds the shaft so it doesn't slip off. Then there is the outer ring. The outer ring, I needed to put an additional part because I made a mistake with the 3D modeling. But uh, maybe I will update it and put it in the description uh, updated because like this, it had a, an over part to print. So it's better to have less part to print each time. Don't forget to use the hand screwdriver at the end so you don't break the plastic part. If you use the cordless drill, you might put too much force on it and it will break. Then there is the electrical part, basically it's two bridge rectifier. They transform AC current to DC. Next I connect them in parallel. So it increases the amp production and not the voltage. If you put them in series, you increase the voltage. And it's not what I want because my electric circuits work from 8 volt to 35. And basically, as you will see uh, in parallel, they produce 20 volt. So it's in the middle range. It's perfect. I could make something nicer, not this soldering and kind of dirty job, but it was just to test at first. I wasn't sure about the full results, so it was a quick, quick way. Here, as you can see, I use 8 to 35 volts to 5 volts DC, so basically USB port. It's for USB port and it can go up to 2 amps, I think, per part. I found this circuit on AliExpress for like, I don't know, like $5 or something like this. It's not really expensive. There's even cheaper option, but this one was what I had on my hand because I have a lot of this kind of circuit. Uh, I use them for power bank and all kind of stuff. Here is the hose I used. It's garden hose, basically like standard size. As you can see produce 20 volt. Here is the final test. So I had an overphone on my hand so as soon as I start to plug it you can hear the noise of the hydro generator going slower. Basically it means it's under a load and I do it a couple of times so you can hear the difference. I actually don't know how much amp it produces. I need to put some reading. Maybe it will be on the next video. My multimeter burnt so I know the voltage, but I can't check amperage production. So that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you want to do the project you can get the STL file directly in, in the video description and if you have any question throw them in the comment section and I will try to respond to everything. Thank you for watching.